Hey YouTube, Alex here again, um, from Inch 95's channel, bringing you guys a uh, deck of the month for February. Um, because I'm not, there's a regionals tomorrow, um, down in San Jose, hit me up if you guys are going. I, sadly, I wish I could go, but I can't. If by some miracle I can, um, I'd be running this deck. You guys can test it out if you want, take it to regionals. My friend's probably going to be taking this down there, so I'm probably, this deck, he's probably going to be using it. But, uh, yeah, actually, like, more than half these cards aren't mine, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to show you guys the deck list, because last, I was going to do deck, Absolute Zero last month, but because the, I, I really don't need my invite, and even if, let, I'll just say I've, since I'm going, like, I'll just say I'm going to regionals just for time's sake and just for purpose sake, like, I really don't need my invite or anything, so, I mean, I'd probably play this deck just because it's fun or whatever, and I haven't tested it competitive, uh, at a regional yet, I've, I'd probably play Zombies, if anything, instead of this deck. Or Synchro Cat. I'm just going to get into the deck. Um, I pro I just made this deck right now because I had it built and I tore it apart. Um, some weird choices, but whatever. Dark Armed, obvious. You need it in any deck that plays more than three darks. Gore is a lifesaver. Double Caius, um, extra removal, just really good. Um, helps you kind of swarm. Start off your D-Hero engine, Stratos, and you can use him to pop back row. Uh, occasional Tribute Fodder, Discard Fodder, D-Draw Fodder, just... Really good. Synchro Fodder. Malicious. I run Double Diamond Dude. Really good. Hit a lot of your spells. Mainly your Miracle Fusions. Um, it's just a good card overall. And one Fear Monger to bring back and reuse your D-Heroes. Mostly your um, mostly your Diamond Dudes. I don't bring Malicious back as much. I don't know why. Um, this is weird, but because I play Double Kais and I like to speed the deck a lot more. Um, double Mystic Tomato. Um, Sangan. Um, just overall Searcher. Main your main tuners of the deck, um, the ones you'll be using the most are the triple divas. Just synchro with them into cr into crazy stuff, and then you can use absolute uh, get absolute zero with the miracle fusions. Because I play three, and sometimes if I ha already use two and I have an extra one in the deck, I can get out a spine Gilman for an instant catastrophe or android. Um, plague spreader obvious tuner and Gale pretty much obvious tuner. She's like the best level three basically. Spells, um, for Searcher, Rhoda, and Sarko, just one of each. Obviously, you can only run one Rhoda. I was going to run two Sarkos, but I think one's enough, because, um, I was going to make the, I accidentally started making this deck for next format, which I wasn't supposed to, and I realized it's still February, and I need to do a deck of the month February, so this is for the regionals tomorrow, and you can run Burial, um, which zombie players will be running, so just one Sark, because they can bury your monsters, unless you search, like, Brain Control or D-Draw. Start off your draw power, double, double Allure, obvious, um... More draw power, obvious, whoops, can't grab it. Triple D draw, um, again, obvious draw power. Another main spell of the deck, probably like one of the hearts of the deck, are your triple miracle fusions. Just really good, get your absolute zero really easily and really fast. Um, take your opponent's monsters to synchro or tribute or whatever, or attack them with brain control, mind control. And then for your back row removal, heavy MST and trunade. Going kind of fast through this, um, just kind of busy. Go, I'm trying to post videos right now, but it won't let me. Again, I'm having issues, and I'm probably going to post this one other video that I did that's kind of sad. But anyway, you guys can go check that out later. Traps, Solemn, Obvious, um, Dust Shoot, Staple. Basically, these are all staples here. Monster Removal, Double Bottomless, More Monster Removal, Torrential, and Mirror Force. Um, a Tech Royal Oppression I was citing too. If you want, I guess you can cite it if you want, but I like one in the main against Zombies because... This this format does swarm and it's just crazy. Like it's a it's a really good card. Um, be smart when you activate it. And then one wing blast, just one, just to spin their stuff. You can run a dust tornado if you want instead of the oppression and inside the oppression. But uh, I guess one's probably enough. I'm pretty sure one one's one's gonna be enough. Just spin stuff and discard stuff. Like if you have dead cards in your hand for dark armed or whatever. Um, extra deck, you guys should probably know what this looks like. Um, for extra deck, obviously. Whoops. Um, triple Absolute Zero, just really good overall. They're your, like, well, they're not really good. They're not broken. They're just pretty good. They're a beat stick and they can, they're basically a Raigeki on legs. Kind of like a Dark, Dark Lord Zerato. Um, for Synchros, Android, Catastrophe. I'm just going to flip through these. Double Bryanax still because it's still this format. Goyo, Gyanite, Armor Master for Gale, Black Rose, um, Double Stardust, Fun Stuff, Shenanigans, Colossal Fighter. Red Dragon and a Mistworm. Uh, side deck, I kind of just made this right on the spot. I really don't like it too much. I haven't tested it. 
um, Vortex because you can hit it and it's field presence removal for your opponent and you can discard stuff that you could use uh, potentially with Dark Armed or Miracle Fusion um, to help yourself or for defense usually against, not against GBs, never said this, usually against like Light Sworn or something. Um, occasionally against Black Wings, the only problem is if they can pump a boar and get over this and hit you for a lot of damage. So it's it's good. Uh, it's kind of situational, but I like it. Um, gets those free pokes. One crow, just one. I was running two. One's fine because if you draw, if you don't draw it, um, opening hand or like early early game, right around early game, it kind of sucks because if you draw late game, you're kind of stuck with a 100. So it's situational. It's going to be better next format, though. Back of removal, uh, Lone Dust Tornado. Uh, some black wing hate, um, double trap hole, um, I guess GB hate as well, I'm not exactly sure, I guess it's kind of GB hate. Second depression in the side, you could side the second one and put like the dust tornado in there or something. Um, just negate special summons. Another overall card that I like to use, um, pretty much in every side, a kind of a standard thing for me. Triple threatening roar, it's all purpose usually, just against all those OTK decks right now. Uh, some zombie hate. Um, and just Light Sworn Hate, and I guess Blackwing Hate, or Absolute Zero Hate if you play Mirror Match, Double Kaiku, and their Beat Sticks. Um, one Mobius, I like him because he's a water type, and you can side him in against, like, if, you're, if your opponent's playing, like, Gadgets or whatever, and you can side him in, kill their oppressions, kill whatever, their back row, and he's, and he's just, he's kind of a Beat Stick, but he helps you a little bit for Absolute Zero. And then, finally, some more Light Sworn Hate, Double Light Imprisoning Mirror. Probably one of the shortest, um... Deck of the months I've done, but had to do it kind of quick. Um, absolute zero. Tell me what you think of it. Take it to regionals. I pro I'm not going to lie. I probably can't make it tomorrow. Um, I really wish I could. Just the person that I'd stay with down there, she's out of town. And she she's in L.A. right now. And I, I'm going to the next two. I'm really sad about it because I love this format. And I probably like it more than the next format. But whatever. Um, peace, you guys. Subscribe. Tell me what you think. And uh, comment below on your opinions.